Hey everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic Seven, and today we're gonna. Well, that hasn't happened in a while. Today we're gonna do some Guild War, and uh, it's actually my first crash in Blue Stacks in as long as I can remember. Well, um, but we're gonna do some Guild War today right. with the same units I'll we've been doing. Later. I if did change alive. my. Uh... Let me turn this down again. I did gear up Milam because I want to try her out today. And I also did gear up uh, Sharklet a little bit differently. So this is the Milam here. Uh, I feel like she's pretty dangerous, but I'm not quite sure. And the Sharklet here is uh, damagey, a little less, a lot less tanky, and just a lot of damage. Um, so we'll see how that works. I'm kind of curious. And uh, then we'll try the lifesteal set that everybody seems to be recommending. Um... I understand I should probably just do the lifesteal set to begin with, but I really want to see what kind of damage she does and the difference between the speed set I had with a ton of extra um, speed and tankiness versus this. Kind of see what kind of difference there is, right? Um, and I feel like Charlotte's somebody we can bring against the bottom team here. And I'm going to be bringing a tankyish team against that. And also going to be bringing Hand Guy as well, just to kind of get as many dispels as possible. Just try to kind of Charlotte them all to death. And against the top team here, I feel like I want to try Milam here, but I feel like that's also a terrible idea. Um, that's probably a terrible idea, right? So let's go Lilius. Celine, I know that's bad. That's bad, right? Go Lilius Araminta. I feel like I do the same thing. I'm always like Rimuru and other people I can stun. Oof, we're not first. That's real bad news. I need resist for sure. No resist. I need resist right here. Resist. Oh, the wrong resist. No stun. No stun. It's still fine. We can still do this, right? We get a stun, especially on the Rimuru here. Uh, we didn't. So, how do I even do this? Do I just go like this and try to kill him? We've got decreased attack, so I can't imagine it's gonna kill. It killed! Okay! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, I'm still in trouble. Because, uh, Milam will take quite a bit of damage here if she ever gets hit, right? Got the stun, let's go. Got the- no, we didn't get the burn. We actually got another stun. Um... Okay, am I... Are we doing this? <laughs> I feel like we're doing this, right? If we get this win, we've already done better than last Guild War. Uh... Yeah, let's just... Let's just go like that. Oh, the stun feels so good. I don't know if I should do this either, but just for the burns, I guess. Because we don't need the stun. Did get a burn. Did proc Elbrus there. Punch her in the face. Okay, that's a lot of punching in the face. Resistance. Cool. There we go. Got the stun. And now Milim punch in the face again. Okay, Milim does some damage. Sheesh, I wasn't expecting that much damage. Uh, already better than last Guild War. And now we try this team. Um... I just need to not immediately die. Am I gonna... I'm gonna die before anything happens, right? I guess as long as... No, she's dead. She's dead 100%. Because this is gonna almost kill her, then Mercedes will kill her. No, it's just straight up gonna kill her. Luckily, that pushed May Chloe ahead, right? Brings her alive. Now, how do we do this here? I think we do this to try to get barrier, right? Because that doesn't matter. So let's just try to decrease attack. Okay, that's good. That's good. Don't you dare stun her. <laughs> that's why we brought two dispels. Okay, now she's gonna kill somebody, right? Um, I feel like I need to kill this. I feel like that's going to be enough damage. Yeah, that's definitely enough damage. She got crits, but it's fine. Now she should dual attack, right? 
5,800, I expected more. I'm sensing I was really expecting more than, don't you dare. Immune to stun, let's go. So again, same thing here. 5k, I was expecting more. She's alive though, you know, that's really, I guess she's not Mullen still. But still, Mola shouldn't make that much difference, right? And yes, by the way, I am Omega aware that she would be better in a 4 per, 4v4. I am super aware of that. Uh, but I don't really play 4v4. So I wanted to have some fun with her in here. There's a dual attack. Got to burn for the stun. Because you don't get it off the first. The stun comes off the second hit. And then... Um, We've got another stun here, but this does more damage, so we'll just go with this, right? Big trouble. big trouble! I feel like every now and then that just does a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, 2-0. and We're twice as good as last Guild War, and we're actually in a pretty close Guild War. They have a lot of attacks left, so I should generally try to win. I know I should always try to win, but I never actually do. Um, oh, double win from Simply Jaw. Okay. So. I'm going to do this team again. And then against the bottom team, Charlotte, I'm going to do. I'm not going to do this. And I'm going to do a Yule Ha. I think that's fine. Oof. My speed is so bad. It's so bad. Oh my god. My speed is so bad. If we get a stun. Uh, any stuns? No stuns. Counterattack. Please stun. Oh no. So this can't possibly kill, right? But it does give us... It does give us the evasion which we need. So I think I just go here, right? This is bringing it to like 50% if we're lucky. A little over 50. Era will live this. Oh, right, right, right. I guess it's guaranteed to go on her. Double resistance there. Please stun. Okay, we can do this. This looks horrid. But we can still do this. Got decreased attacks everywhere. We need a barrier for sure. Please kill. <laughs> okay, now we dead, right? Yeah, and the dual attack, yeah. That's unfortunate. I definitely misplayed that by being slower. Uh, I need to not do that because my my speed is not fast enough to outspeed people, right? So that's something I need to really consider going forward. Um, my Lilius is just not good enough. Like, just straight up just not good enough. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> just in case. Now this should... So unfortunate. Um, 15,000. So. I think. I don't know what to do. Legit don't know what to do here. 15,000 damage. I don't think she had more, has more than 15,000 HP. And I want to kill her. Okay, so that's good. That's really good because that kills her. And now we should be able to kill her with this here. And then we can stabilize, right? Yeah, she's dead. We knew that was happening. I don't think I procced her passive yet, right? So... Resistance, unfortunate. Oh. 
Yeah, we didn't proc her passive, so it's gonna proc now. But she's got her skill three up. She's just dead again. How is her skill three honestly needs a plus one turn at least? It really does need a plus one turn. Luckily, we're getting stuns for days. Didn't get one there. I think I'm dead, right? Yeah, I think I'm dead. If I had enough souls... Yeah, I'm dead there. Okay, 0-2. <laughs> We're back to mangling. That's unfortunate. Um, That's unfortunate. Charlotte did not do anything, right? Yeah, Charlotte did not really do anything there. So I'm going to send ya... Senya instead of Era, and just see what happens. Uh, and then we're going to... We're going to bring Alencia. We're going to bring Sermia. And we're going to bring... Ran? I don't know if I outspeed. Feel my sword. Give all that you have. I don't know why I decided on uh, Senya, but I did, and we're we're sticking to it. Okay, so do I even do this? Because obviously, I can't do enough damage, right? I think I do it just for the evasion, right? Maybe I don't because I did so much damage. Maybe I should have just skilled one there. I'm not actually sure. I haven't used her before, right? Well, I've used her, but it's been a long time. So let's try sending out here. And to note, I have the wrong EE. I should have the uh, greater attack, but I don't think I have it, right? Milam does some damage. Get some buffs up. Sheesh. That is some damage. Okay, now we can switch over to Ruel. So if we got a dual attack with Rimuru, or not with Rimuru, with Milam. Wow, we proc this. First time seeing this. How much damage does this do? 7k, that's not too bad. Punch him in the face. We've got attack buff, so that should kill, right? Okay, Milam's pretty fun. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, she does a ton of damage, and she seems to be pretty durable as long as she doesn't get... Uh... By the way, we got out sped. We're that bad. We're that bad. We got out sped. Uh, that's gonna just kill us, right? Is there bombs everywhere? Yeah. I'll take you all down. Yep. Okay, we've got Sigurd's sight. There we go. There we go. Now it's over. We procced it. Okay. So we're bad. We're still bad. Okay. Uh, we tried our best. We used some fun units. That team was obviously not going to do anything unless we outsped and we didn't outspeed. How fast is my Ran? I don't even know how fast my Ran is. Um, I don't think it's very fast though, right? Because when I do use Ran, I use a bunch of speed imprints. 296. So 296 I got outsped by a Piera, which is definitely higher than I can get my Piera. So, um... Yeah, and out of curiosity, how fast can we get our ran? Uh, let me know how fast you can get your ran in the comments down there below. I'm really curious. Uh, how fast y'all can get your rans? I can get mine at 307. That is my max. Obviously, um, not the greatest stats with it, but 
you know, I could. This is something I could do. Uh, and the way I was using my round before was with a bunch of speed imprint, so I didn't need anything more, right? I was already guaranteed to be faster. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.